Hello, I'm Lynn Elwood from the Department of Speech-Language Pathology at the University of Toronto. This is me back in the day when we could attend conferences and poster sessions live and in person. Remember those days? I teach an advanced course in the final academic unit of our MHSC program that helps students learn to integrate current leading evidence and clinical reasoning in clinical practice. A major component of this hybrid course requires students to independently complete pre-lecture required readings and applied learning activities for each of five case studies. The e-learning modules include three short quizzes of three to five questions, including both knowledge questions and applied knowledge questions. I inherited this course, which was a very popular one with students, and after checking that the purpose of the quizzes aligned with the objectives of the course, I stayed with the same format. The course has run for many years, and I've wondered about whether quiz questions in the question bank are an appropriate check on the student's understanding of the required readings, and whether the applied questions discriminate between strong and weaker students. So I explored how learning analytics data can be used to evaluate the quality of individual quiz questions, what protocol can be developed to effectively monitor quiz question quality as new questions are added to the question bank, and how efficient an annual evaluation process might be. My first step was to have a look at the quiz summary statistics. On the surface, it looked easy, but it was hard to decipher what the key indicators meant and how to interpret them. Percentages were easy enough to understand, but what was a discrimination index? I missed the part about the tiny green plus sign indicating that the question discriminated between strong and less strong students sufficiently well. So the next step was to look into the more detailed item analysis, which gives plenty more data about each quiz question, including each answer option. However, nowhere do you find the term discrimination index, nor do you see any percentages reported. So it was hard to relate this to the dashboard. This was a bit scary for someone who had very little understanding of how quiz analysis works. Quiz reference guides assume some knowledge of multiple choice question analysis measures and were not a big help for me. I found a vast amount of literature on the topic and the descriptions and discussion of the various indicators was very informative. Armed with new learning, I realized things were simpler than they first appeared, or rather as simple as they first appeared when a little knowledge was applied. The three main indices commonly used for quiz analysis are here. They're found disguised with alternate terms and using ratios instead of percentages like on the dashboard. I basically abandoned the report and quickly learned to trust the indices as presented on the dashboard to see whether any questions needed to be eliminated or revised. I'm pleased that now I have a means to efficiently evaluate and monitor quiz quality on an annual basis. The poster gives an example of applying the analysis, raises some discussion points, and provides some tips for interpreting each index. Thanks for watching.